Hello and welcome back to another episode of NASA Space News. On the 21st of December, NASA's Perseverance Mars rover deposited a titanium tube with a rock sample on the surface of the Red Planet. The rover will leave 10 tubes at the Three Forks site over the course of two months, creating the first human sample depot on another planet. As a landmark first step in the Mars sample return effort, the deposit is an important landmark. Perseverance has been taking duplicate samples from rock targets the mission selects. The rover currently has the other 17 samples, including one atmospheric sample, taken so far in its belly. Based on the architecture of the Mars sample return campaign, the rover would deliver samples to a future robotic lander. The lander would next use its robotic arm to load the samples into a capsule, which would be carried by a tiny rocket to Mars orbit, where it would be captured by another spacecraft and sent back to Earth. If for any reason Perseverance is unable to deliver its samples, in that case, a pair of sample recovery helicopters would be called upon to finish the job. On January 31, 2022, in the South Seta area of Mars's Jezero Crater, scientists found a chalk-sized core of igneous rock that they have nicknamed Malay. Perseverance's complicated sampling and catching system required about an hour to remove the metal tube from within the rover's belly, inspect it one final time with its internal cache cam, then drop the sample around 3 feet, or 89 centimeters, into a carefully chosen piece of Martian surface. Engineers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California, which constructed Perseverance and is in charge of the mission, aren't finished yet. The crew made sure that the tube hadn't slid into a path of the rover's wheels by positioning the Watson camera at the end of Perseverance's 7-foot or 2-meter robotic arm and peering under the rover. They also double-checked that the tube wasn't laying on its end after landing. Each tube has a flat end piece called a glove to make it easier to be picked up by future missions. During testing with the Earth-based version of Perseverance at JPL's Mars Yard, that occurrence rate was below 5%. In this case, this occurs on Mars, the mission has programmed Perseverance to gently knock over the tube using the turret on the end of its robotic arm. As the rover adds to additional samples, to the Three Forks cache over the next several weeks, they will have more opportunity to determine whether the method is necessary for the Perseverance mission. That's all for now. Make sure you don't miss any updates by subscribing to the channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, consider checking out our previous videos. And, for up-to-the-minute updates, visit our website at www.nasaspacenews.com. Thanks for watching.